country boy. Which which type of uh, English would you want me to? <laughs> A British British accent in it. In it. I Ali G. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Sam says no. Two words. In it. Guys, welcome back to the green room. Uh, for me, it's always a big pleasure when I'm making mix match videos to have you here. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, laid back Luke. Here we go. Welcome in my broom room. Yeah, the broom room. Have you ever been in a broom room on a party? Um, no, and not with a guy either. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, right? Absolutely nothing wrong. It's actually, it's like we're having a really good time at the in the broom room. Yes, man. Well, uh, that's typical for Amsterdam dance event. Have you prepared already for this week? Oh, prepared? Yeah, no. you, you, you had your healthy milkshakes. So right. Yeah, I'm all like, you know... Uh, no, not really, no. So, uh, just like before, I'm just going in blank. I'll just uh, pl try and play a lot of mix mash tracks tonight. Which I'm excited about because we have a ton of new stuff on the way, a ton of new talents that we are pushing, and everyone's wearing the uniform as well. How about that? Yeah, I like the shirt, man. Yeah, thank you. You too. Yeah, thanks, man. You have a good style. <laughs> thanks. Well, in the broom room, it's all about the dirty details. So I know when you are laid back, Luke, you get a lot of laid back DMs online in your Instagram. Oh, right. Groupies. Right. What happens in the broom room of laid back, Luke? Nice. Well, um, I am in constant touch with a lot of people on the DMs. Usually they are just like young talent, young kids that want to break through as a DJ. You would think I w would put the laid in laid back Luke, but laid back Luke doesn't get laid. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's mostly about the young talent. And, and this is what we're trying to do with Mix Mash as well. And so whenever you, you're on the DM with me, you can expect... You know, motivational talks and, and uh, lessons in DJing and producing. Nice. So what can I expect from a broom room conversation with laid back Luke? I mean, on the real party, the real broom room. Are you still giving me motivative talks? Yeah, or? most likely. I mean, if you if you want to go there, I could even like say like, no, you should do this and that as foreplay. <laughs> Great one. Whenever you're trying to warm up a crowd, I always reference it to uh, the deed. And, you know, working a crowd is like foreplay. So there you go. And for all the years that you have been playing, have you one crazy story that happened with a crowd or in a country that you thought like, oh, someone is throwing weird shit to me or sending me weird pictures? Do you have a special story for us? Uh, yeah, there w there's this one girl and shout out, Kelly. You know who you are Kelly. seeing this. Kelly, she lives in Australia right now. She was from Liverpool and she would always bring posters, like very cheeky posters. What was it again? Um, for instance, uh, I want to be laid by Luke or something like that okay. or that sort of thing. And uh, she kept on doing that. And uh, at a certain point, we started to talk. It was all good and all friendly, but very cheeky. Yeah, man, that sounds cheeky. Respect. <laughs> and... and <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh at my own joke. Sometimes it happens. Have you ever told him or comes he still? Okay, respect. Okay. Touche. How do you react on, on fans like Kelly or stuff like that? How would you react like a, as a professional? Right. Well, this is the thing though. And you see it in America nowadays. And I'm going to flip it to something really serious right here. Because this is something motivational I want to tell the new talent. Is that you should stay out of trouble like with all the lawsuits going on with Cristiano Ronaldo well there you go yeah. and and you know that sick and it was gas lamp killer as well and uh, these were guys that you know had no clue what they were doing and for all they knew they were having a good time and like even chatting to people or you know it can be taken to a very serious extent and you should really just stay out of trouble and uh, yeah. we're just here for the music, really. And you know what? If you if you want to go into uh, something like that, then then take it long term. Stretch it out. It doesn't need to be like on the night, there and then. And you never know where someone has been and that sort of thing. And, and without throwing names, do you hear a lot of from your colleagues the, the crazy stories, like the the rock and roll life? Oh, absolutely. And a lot of DJs are dogs. And But this is what <laughs> I'm trying to say. Because <laughs> vice versa, you don't know where the DJs have been. And so, you know, it's a, it's a tricky one. And it's a, like a very risky thing. It's not as adventurous. Well, it is adventurous, but not as sexy as you might think. Well, I, I think then we agree to disagree then. But it looks pretty sexy to me, all the DJ right. stories. I Can you mention one you hear around, like last year? Well, there, there's a certain uh, amount of stories I heard from uh, 
from some dudes that were in the mix mash camp as well and and but it got that far they had their tour manager like scoping out women so grabbing them from the crowd and then they would bring them back to their hotel and and but this is this is true so this is what happens is the the girls need to actually hand in their passports hand in their mobile phones then they can go into the hotel room oh really and because it happens that sometimes you get these women in and they'll steal steal your laptop yeah or they'll wow. steal your passport or you know you never know what you drag in don't get in trouble <laughs> don't get in trouble stay out of trouble so this is the essence really and yeah i've heard those stories i've never uh been in those type of situations but that's crazy but the stories are true yeah so where did the stories come from well this is actually my mix mash records mood wall mood board all the big guys who came here in the chair of the broom room wrote something down on the wall can okay. you also write something down a typical laid back look maybe a word a broom room what would you what would you, you write want me down to write it now yeah your your advice stay or your stay out of trouble of course that's a well, good no, one yeah I the broom room I, no, is full I, I'll of people yeah I'll just, back look is in the room. I'll just uh i'll just keep it nice and light oh that's what she said hey hey Roaming, bro. Nice. <laughs> you should be a copywriter and advertising company, Boom. man. You should be a big <laughs> one. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure having you. Yeah, thank you for Let the brooming. Thanks awesome. for brooming with Boris. <laughs> Later.